In this video, I'm going to tell you about a really cool AI prototyping tool. We all have app ideas constantly, but turning them into something tangible that you can actually show a teammate or a potential user, that's the hard part. Prototyping needs to be fast, and sometimes relying on generic AI tools to generate full UIs just doesn't work very well. They lack the context and the consistency. That's why in this video I'm looking at Magic Patterns. It's an AI UI prototyping tool specifically for product teams. Let's look at what it can do and also test it for design consistency. And thanks to Magic Patterns for sponsoring this video. So this is Magic Patterns. Um, you can just has the prompt box like a lot of AI tools where you can ask it to build anything mainly designed. You can also recreate from a screenshot where you give it a screenshot of any website and then it will basically write the HTML and code to, to design that. Import from Figma and import from site. So let me show you one that's already been created. Uh, this is the Twitter clone. And right now we are in an infinite canvas. And this is for all the UI ideas. So what we're looking at is a near perfect clone of the Twitter interface. And this isn't just a static image. So I'm going to here, click here at the Twitter homepage clone. You can see whatever I click, it'll show on the side menu. And I'm going to open an editor. And if I just close the, the chat here, we can see. So this was all designed just based on the AI. And you can see it looks a lot, basically just like Twitter. I mean, there's some minor changes. But if we go into the chat, we can see the chat that um, basically created this. Make a rep replica of Twitter's homepage. And then it starts with the first mock-up. And then we can see through chat, you can ask it for additional updates to make it exactly how you want. And if we go back to the canvas, we can see that everything, all the other ones are basically using the same design. So we can look at this one. So this is what a D, some DMs look like. And we can go into here and we can see what a uh, feed would look like. So one thing pretty cool about this is that we also can see the, the code. So this isn't just a design. We can see the actual code that is making it. It's not just a static image. So Magic Patterns is built on code under the hood. So it's an interactive prototype. Basically, I can uh, actually click on things and it's going to show different things when I click on it. Um, I can navigate, I can get a real feel for the experience, which is huge for user testing. So recreating is one thing, but any product team knows the real challenge is consistency, making sure the 10th screen you build looks exactly like it belongs with the first. So here's the challenge. I want to add a new complex feature that Twitter doesn't have. So I'm going to add it to this design, this Twitter design that we already are seeing here. To make sure it looks correctly, I am going to add a new preset. Presets basically are a way to configure default prompt and consistent styles. So I'm going to click Add New. This is how I'm going to add a new section. And these are the different presets that are already exist. Well, I'm going to do create a preset. So I'm going to call this preset Twitter, even though technically it is x.com. And then I'm going to put in a, a prompt here. Now on the Magic Patterns website, they suggest just use ChatGPT to, to generate a default prompt for you. So I'm going to take a screenshot of x.com. So I'm saying I put in the screenshot, it said create Magic Patterns preset for Twitter, here's their docs. Okay, now it's giving me a preset. So I can basically just copy this whole thing. It's gonna have a lot of information about the style of Twitter. And then I'll just paste it all in right to here. And then I can click save. Another thing I could use is actually there's a Magic Patterns Chrome extension. And then I can select a component completely like this. And then it will convert it to HTML. And I can turn it into a, a React component or Figma. And when I convert it to components, I can use that in my design. But right now, I'm just going to be using my Twitter preset. 
And then I'm going to say I want a user analytics dashboard for this project with bar charts and a weekly summary. So it's going to use the Twitter preset, but it's also going to have the context of the other pages in the project. So I'll click generate and we can see it's been added Twitter analytics, it's weekly user analytics dashboard and it's being created right now. Now let's click open editor and now we can see what it's actually thinking about and what it's actually doing. So we'll just wait a little bit for this to complete. Okay, and it just finished. So I can close this section here and this looks amazing. This looks so much like the Twitter that we've been creating so far and you can see um, it's actually kind of, kind of interactive because it's real HTML and it looks basically it, it fits right in with the rest of our Twitter clone. And one cool thing about it is that we can ask for changes. Make the bar chart the color green. And let's see what it does. Okay, now these are green. So basically in seconds we have a fully designed dashboard. The fonts, the spacing, the dark mode aesthetic just inherited the style of Twitter. And so the great thing about this is it understands the design context. So there's no copying, pasting styles, and it's easy to create, maintain a consistent design aesthetic across the entire product. And it's easy to just use natural language to make changes to the design. And it's collaborative. I can get, click share, give other people access, and basically the entire canvas is multiplayer so anybody else can come and jump in and work on the idea together. I like how Magic Patterns gives the ability to visually communicate ideas clearly before writing a single line of production code. If you're working in product and constantly validating new ideas, I recommend checking out Magic Patterns. New users get five generations for free to test it out. Use my custom link in the description below to get started. Thanks for watching.